Welcome to Voices from the Bench, a dental laboratory podcast. Send us an email at info at voicesfromthebench.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Greetings and welcome to episode 288 of Voices from the Bench. My name is Elvis. And my name is I Have the Day Off, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you believe that. <laughs> For those that don't know, we usually record on Fridays, and it looks like Barb's having an extended weekend there down in Florida. I got an email from my HR saying, you've got over a hundred and some odd hours. And I was like, well, shit, I'm going to burn a Friday then. So here there I am. There you go. You should burn every Friday till the end of the year. Bingo. I hate to say burn because I work hard every day, but hell. If I need to use it, I just did some gardening. I went for a run. I cleaned my house. So anyhow. But it's not like come Monday, there's twice as much work for you to do, right? Right. I mean, do you really get the day off or do you just make your Mondays worse? I made my Mondays worse, Elvis. Sorry to bring it up so early. (laughs) But I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to go to my dad's, hang out with him and just relax. So good for you. Thank you. We're given the time and we should take it. Exactly. What's up this week? Talk to me. Do you remember when we had on the ladies that started that group night shift? Yes. Yes. Great podcast. You know, it's Nina Freakington. Freakington. I love that name. Freakington. Deepa (laughs) Medillia. Emily and Eleanor Pittard. They created this group. It's all online. It's really just the empowerment of female technicians. Yes. But when we were talking to them during the conversation, they mentioned that they wanted to put on a symposium. Now, you got to remember, this group only started like in April. I know. So it's new. I got the shirt. Did you? Yep. That's awesome. So they did announce this last week the details. I saw it. Honestly, I'm a little intrigued. This Mm -hmm. sounds pretty cool. The nice thing is it's all online. So even though they're all based in the UK, we can still check this out here in America. And we will. Oh, yeah. So on November 21st, they have Janelle Tabakovich and Emily Petard, both past podcast guests, Uh they're talking about removables. Now, let's say you're a crown and bridge technician and you don't give a rat's ass about removable. (laughs) On November 22nd, (laughs) the day after, Dora Rodriguez, again, another past podcast guest, and somebody named Lisa Johnson, who I don't know, who hopefully will someday be a podcast guest, they're talking about crown and bridge. So it's kind of nice. One kind of technician does not have to sit through the other. Yeah, you can actually pick and choose like your superpower. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the event is only 30 pounds. And uh, I think most of our listeners are here in America. That's only like 36 bucks. I like it when you say 30 pounds. You actually sound a little English. Oh, do I? I lost 30 pounds. Oh, (laughs) don't they call it stones over there? (laughs) Pound, stone, yeah, I think so. Weight-wise, it's stone. Yeah, that's so weird. See, you're learning shit you didn't know you needed to know. Let's not confuse me or the listener. All right, all right. So it's only 36 bucks. Okay. And you get a chance to see these amazing technicians and learn all about their techniques. So go ahead and head over to any of their social media channels. And I will also put a link up on this episode's show notes. So we recommend to please go register and support this great group. Yes. There's a quick reminder, guys, part two of Elvis and Dr. Rice's webinar series is on October 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Well, let me just chime in. The first one yeah. was pretty good. I was pretty proud. I know. Of, you said you were. I was so happy for you. Very seldom do I do anything I know. webinar <laughs> live on stage as I walk away and, and feel like yes. I did a decent job. And you told me that when I saw you at DTG, I was really happy for you. Yeah. And actually the first one, I'll put a link up on the show notes too. It's up for viewing. It's not live, of course, because it already happened, but everybody can go check it out. So please go check it out. You can finish. Go ahead. You just cut me off. Sorry. I wanted to give myself a little props. You know what? You should. I'm happy for you. I think that's (laughs) perfect for you to give your opinion on lab and doctor related. (laughs) Any info that we can take from you. So the first one was about consistency. This time it's about deliverables. Take a good guess on who's going to get the blunt of most of the questions. The lab that has to be the one to deliver. (laughs) 
So please come, technicians, come support me. Please get my back. Yes. <laughs> Head over to voicesfromthebench.com forward slash Ivaclar. Or if you're on LinkedIn, go to the Ivaclar's page and you'll be able to find it and register October 12th. Don't miss it. It's free. It's live. This time again, topics deliverable. So show up for Elvest. Please. And the lab industry, of course. Yes. All right. So this week brings back a past guest of the podcast, Mackenzie Mayer. So love her. I love her. Yeah, she's great. Okay. She was actually on 100 episodes ago. Oh, my God. And back so then, she was ago. one half of the Denture Babes team. Yep. Also back then, she was an in-office technician specializing in removables. But now, Mackenzie is the proud owner of Bella Dental Studios. You go, girl. Which is a one-woman lab staying true to handcrafted analog removables. Now, she's always been a fan of Vita and their products. And as the new KOL for them, Mackenzie is joined by Sam Nicola, who is the Director of Marketing Communications at Vita North America. And we met at Ladies of the Mill, correct? Absolutely. She yes, we cool. did. Yes. So Sam talks all about Vita and their history, which has some really cool like World War II connections. 100 years, man. Yeah. The many products they manufacture, their new online store, and how they're re-engaging their customers as they celebrate their 100th year in 2024. So join us as we are updated all about Mackenzie Mayer and we meet Sam Nicola. What's the worst part about getting into digital and dentistry? That's not having the support that you need. And did you know that Ivaclar has digital equipment sales specialists? These experienced professionals, now these are people that have been doing this for a while. They're here to help make your transition to digital a smooth one. Don't waste your time with anyone else. They help provide customized solutions analyze your ROI, provide hands-on assistance, and localize support. All of this catered to your needs. Let's be honest, when we're into digital, most of us have a lot of needs. Contact a digital equipment sales specialist today by emailing digitalspecialist at ivaclar.com. Tell them you heard it here on the podcast and Always, Iva Clark, we appreciate your support. Whether you're looking to elevate your craftsmanship or looking to cut back on cost, look no further. Vita MFT teeth are the ultimate solution for creating lifelike and stunning smiles. Crafted with precision and backed by cutting-edge technology, Vita MFT teeth offer unparalleled aesthetics and durability. And since Vita believes in the power of experiencing excellence firsthand, for a limited time only, they are offering you the chance to get a complimentary case sample. That's right, a full case absolutely free. Just visit VitaNorthAmerica.com forward slash free MFT. Don't wait any longer to start providing your customers a premium tooth at an economy price. Redeem your free case sample, and if you're ready to buy, Vita will even give you an extra 10% off discount by shopping online on their newly launched online store. Join the Vita family today, and we appreciate your support of the podcast. Voices from the Bench. The Interview. Literally elbow deep in acrylic five minutes awesome. ago. Awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we all said that. We're like, we're wondering if she knows it's Eastern time. And I did not. <laughs> My bad. I thought I put that in the email, but I might have forgot. You didn't. Well, maybe in the email, but not in the... I was looking at the text, and the text said 11. So I was uh, just like, oh, cool. I have an hour, you know? I just assume everyone knows what I'm thinking. No, not me. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's get started. We're excited today to welcome two ladies, one that's been on the podcast before, 
But along with her comes somebody from Vita, North America. We welcome Sam. I already forgot. Nicola. Nicola. Sam Nicola. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're happy to have somebody from Vita on, finally. I can't believe we've gone this long without Yes, it is so exciting to finally be a part of it. I mean, it's such an iconic company in our industry. I'm just, actually, when we arranged this, I had to really think, have we had anybody from Vita? No. I don't think we have, but it's awesome. Thank you for coming. And with her, like I mentioned, past podcast guest and good friend, Mackenzie Mayer. How are you? Good. How are you? So good to be here again. Absolutely. Gosh, you were on... A while back, 188, was that your episode? Wow. I think so. It was a while ago. Do you really think she knows the number of her episode, Elvis? I don't. I don't know. I'm so (laughs) sorry. I think I know. I think it's 188. Uh, Yeah, I actually have a tattooed on me, Elvis. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Well, let's get started. Let's, Let's find out, Sam, what is your role at Vita? What is your history with dental? And how you ended up with Vita. Yeah, definitely. So I am the Director of Marketing Communications for Vita North America. Um, So I manage everything that you guys see, social media, emails, online web shop that we just launched. I participate in all the product launches. So you guys actually see a lot of me, even though you may not know that. I have been with Vita five years now. And I came in as a marketing specialist. So I actually started at the bottom and within five years have worked my way up to the top. Somebody called a specialist is the bottom. It is. (laughs) Yes, that is. (laughs) It is a little odd when you say it like that, for sure. But I actually came into Vita with no dental background. So technically speaking, I am still very much so learning this industry. But in the last two years, I've really been able to get knee deep uh, into it, especially with opportunities like you guys are giving me to be on the podcast. So no dental background and you're with a dental company. So how did you find Vita? Like what were you looking for? I'm going to be really honest here. I was looking for anything that got me to the West Coast Uh uh, career wise. And uh, (laughs) California is home to our uh, North American office, Southern California specifically. So that's kind of how I ended up there. And it's really funny, actually, when I interviewed HR said, it's really crazy. You have to come tour here. It's just like cabinets and cabinets and cabinets of teeth. (laughs) (laughs) I just remember like thinking to myself, what am I getting into? (laughs) But honestly, Vita has been so good to me. They've really tried to bring me up to speed as fast as possible. But I think what's been even more exciting about the career that I've had in dental and with Vita has been all of the people that I've met that have also helped get me up to speed. Mackenzie being a huge one in my career development and uh, everything that we're doing as a company. So when you showed up at Vita, I mean, they were obviously already on social media, I imagine. You know, Elvis, it's really crazy. We had no Instagram when I came into Vita. <gasps> uh, oh, God. <laughs> You're speaking his language now, y'all. I That's know. okay. I don't think I had Instagram five years ago <laughs> either. So <laughs> There was only um, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. Twitter. Oh my God. In MySpace. (laughs) It probably was still in MySpace, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. (laughs) So, what? They just handed you the key to their social media and said good luck? Kind of, yeah. I had a really good boss above me. Um, She served as a really good mentor for me. And she kind of just said, Hey, we trust you. How do we make this better? And uh, we collaborated on a lot. I, by no means, just kind of went rogue on it. Sure. She really trusted me to build this vision that I had and and just take off with it. And our social media has really flourished over the last couple of years. We've built really good relationships with people online. We're trying to do so many creative things. And then probably the project I'm most proud of right now is we built an entire online store, which like, hallelujah, about time. Yeah, something that, you know, we didn't see even being possible. We've completely built and it's active for people to shop on now. So that is kind of just the development over the last couple of years. How do you find the content? Like, when do you, are you lay in bed at night and think about like, <laughs> I know this, all this obviously does. Don't we all? 
you know, you talk about the vision and all of that. So like, how do you come up with the content? It is not an easy task. I think that is the number one misconception about people in marketing is that we just sit and hammer out a hundred images a day and it's so easy. And it is the hardest part of our job. Yeah. You know, we obviously have many other offices throughout the the world that we can help pull content from. We use our headquarter images. We use our own images. We recently started sending my team out to do photo shoots in labs to get real authentic user end user footage. I love um, that. That's but, great. Yeah. But a lot for me, I, I really had to learn what people want to see and not having any dental knowledge that was a little bit of a learning curve Mm -hmm. but yeah so we just we just try to find the content honestly from our customers and from from the people that use the product most I think that's the best way to talk about something is to to make it user-centric yep I would agree and then also of course using the color pink and everything Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Is. So that's Vita's color pretty much, right? What's up it with is. that? Yeah. You know, the story that I have been told was that when the, the company started doing branding, um, pink was just a color you didn't see much and they wanted to stand out and be different. Now, if that's really the, the reason behind the pink, I don't know that we'll ever know because that was established almost 100 years ago. Next year what? is our 100 year anniversary. You guys are 100? Oh my yes. God, almost 100, I should say. It's always been pink? It has always been pink, to my knowledge, yes. I didn't even know pink was around 100 years it's ago. It's Elvis's favorite <laughs> color. Every picture I see 100 years ago has no pink in it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, once um, we got out of the box TV phase and the black and white, then it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you and Mackenzie know each other? Yeah. So, um, I mean, Mackenzie, do you want me to give my side of the story first? I would love for you to do that because I I thought we just met on Instagram. (laughs) Well, we did meet on Instagram. (laughs) Like you personally, yeah, I think we met through just marketing tactics and techniques and things. I think you approached me at Lab Day the first time I ever met you in person. Yes. When I was hosting a Denture Babes booth with Janelle. Yep. And, um... You popped in and and you've been around ever since. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get rid of you. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's it's this is the closest I've ever been with any dental company, you know, and they make me feel I don't want to use the word special because <laughs> but you guys make me feel like I'm part of the team in, in a lot of different ways and it, it's it's really uh benefited my career. <laughs> no, I'm I'm happy to hear that. That's what we're here for. Uh, And it's actually a really funny story. I don't even know if Mackenzie knows this, but um, I did find her on Instagram. I loved her work. I loved the way that she was always just so true to herself and true to her own values. And I said, you know, that's something that Vito wants to work with. And so we reached out to her. And when she originally said that she would welcome a Vita representative in her office, this is the part that I don't know if Mackenzie knows, her Vita rep is a 70-year-old male that's been in the industry. (laughs) Or we joke, but a million years. And <laughs> when I called him and said, I need you to go to this lab in Gurney and I need you to get Mackenzie set up with anything she needs from us. She's a huge Instagram star. And he said, what's Instagram? Oh, <laughs> oh I love you. <laughs> and so we had to explain to him what Instagram was and make sure that he understood why we wanted to work with Mackenzie. And he said, I don't understand any of this, but I'll go. When should I go? Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, and so they, they kind of met first. And then, yeah, as Mackenzie said, yes. I finally got to introduce myself at, at lab day. And I just think personality wise, we really hit it off. I think we shared the the same mindset and how we could collaborate and work together. And truthfully, it's always been about just doing what works for, for us and for Mackenzie with no strings and no pressure attached. That's definitely something that I will always stand behind Vita for. They are willing to work with me and I'm not, and we all know I'm not the most outgoing person um, (laughs) most of the time, you know, whether I yay or nay something, they're always okay with it, which I think is, awesome because there's nothing worse than having a company down your neck 
you know, to do certain things for them or to boost some of their products and they're not treating you fairly or making you feel like a real person. <laughs> Whereas Vita and especially meeting Sam has definitely done that for me, making me feel comfortable and appreciating my techniques and my way of going about things. Cause I always get, you know, the same result each time with them and it's always benefited everyone. So do you get to try out like new materials and Oh well, sure. I, I mean if Vita comes out with a product, Sam's really good about asking if I'd like to try some of it. Whether I use it or not, we we'll always come to a decision on, you know, if I would make maybe a, a post for them, some kind of marketing oh, for the product, you know. But if I don't use it, I'll still always help out <laughs> because yeah. That's just the way it is. You know, if I'm if I'm treated fairly and good with a company, I'm going to do exactly that back. Yeah, but before Sam reached out to you on Instagram, you used Vita products. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been doing this for so long. And years and years ago, when I first started out, it was all Vita all the time for about seven years. Then I went to a new place. They were using a lot, you know, different brands of, of products, a lot of cheaper brands. Yeah. That I wasn't yeah. wasn't very happy with, but I was kind of stuck using that sure. for so long. Sure, you do, yeah. Yeah, but when I finally was able to choose my own product again, I went right back to Vita because I the consistency with them and the product alone, I've always felt good about. So when I was finally able to link up with Sam, it made everything so much easier. And I just felt right at home again, you know, because that's how I started out with Vita as a Vita girl. And now my entire lab is all Vita products. Well, let's talk about that. Because last time you were on the podcast, you were an in-office lab. Yeah, in-house. In-house, yeah. But since then, you are now a lab owner. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's talk about that. That's exciting. Right. It's so exciting. I still get nervous even talking about it because, you know, it's so fresh and new that there's always that nagging, you know, voice in my head like it, it could fail, you know, and you never know. But we just opened in April, so it hasn't been super long, but I can say confidently that I'm doing very well Yeah, and yeah. my accounts just keep building. And I think there's always going to be a need for what I do, even among all of the new technologies and digital this and that, because I do specialize in only analog work. But now that I've opened my own place and can stock all of my cabinets with Vita and all the Vita products, I know that I'm producing a consistent product. You know, there's no other dentists coming in like in the in-house lab and changing up my routines and my products. So Things are really looking up for me. Yeah. I'm just going to stay hopeful and just keep my head down and work my b- off. <laughs> when did you make up your mind that you wanted to go out on your own and that you were tired of working for somebody? You know, in my situation, I've always had that dream, right? I'm pretty sure I talked to you about this before, Barb. Like, I always had this dream of having like a, a female only lab or something silly like that. Yeah. But now that's transformed into just having my own place. And with the help of a few investors that I really, they truly believe in me, we were able to put this together and it has been a whirlwind, <laughs> but I'm just glad it's finally here. I'm so proud of it, you know, and I'm, yeah. I'm just going to try to do my best. <laughs> Are you all by yourself right now? Is there anybody yeah. helping you or? It's just me. I do have oh. um, my office manager who's wonderful, help me here and there with billing and things like that. But it, I am the only technician for now. When I designed the place, we did put in three working stations. So I do have room for more people if necessary. Right now I'm still juggling by myself and I'm doing okay. I'm not overworking myself just yet. So (laughs) when that happens and I start to get burnt out, I will look into hiring. And you want to stay analog. That's your whole goal. That's, that's my goal. My, I mean, logistically things could change right now. We do accept like scans and things so I can print my models. But other than that, that's all, everything else is analog and that's just the way I love to work. You know, I don't see myself sitting in front of a screen designing cases. That's just not where I'm at. And luckily I do a lot of work for local offices who just don't have the funds or maybe they're just not interested in that technology. So I'm busy. There's always going to be a demand for some hands-on regardless. And I'm, I'm just hoping that I can get with my marketing techniques and maybe the help of Vita, we'll get more cases um, that are just solely analog, you know, and it's all, it's an art form. You're not even having offices call asking if you do digital. 
Not at all. Yeah. I've, not at all. I've never had one even inquiry. So yeah. nobody asks. It's almost like right. we're having to like push it on. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they would seek it out if they want that specific type of work. They would probably seek out a digital lab. Yeah. But I'm very aware of it. And I make sure in all of my personal lab marketing that it's very known that it's all handcrafted. Yeah. By one person. <laughs> by one singular person. <laughs> Are you saying your hours are better now than when you left the in office? Yeah. Oh, 100% Elvis. I, if I can't sleep and it's four in the morning, I'm going to work. You know, I can do whatever I want. I, I have the key. If I don't want to do a case until 9 p.m. at night, guess what? I'm not going to do it till 9 p.m. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens where you sit on a case and you're like, you know what? I'm really not feeling it yet. And yes. then all of a sudden this light goes off and you're like, all right, I'm ready. And that could be at nine o'clock at night. Totally. I don't know if a lot of techs do this, but this is something I do and it's worked for me for a long time. If I get a case that maybe is challenging or I just don't know where to begin, I'll leave it. If I have the time, I will leave it overnight. And for some reason, if you just sleep on it and check it again the next morning, you know exactly where to start. I love it. Yes. You just got to sleep on it. Yep. Or procrastinate until when it has to get That's called. (laughs) Or do it, yeah, in the final hour. (laughs) A little bit of pressure, you know, us technicians, we love that pressure. Yeah, yeah. I always work better under pressure. I've yeah. never met a technician who doesn't. So. No doubt. So true. So you and Sam, you guys are pretty close to each other logistically? Um, as far as on the map? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're both in what, Chicago, Illinois? I'm in the north suburbs of Chicago, my lab. Oh, um, Sam, I'm not quite sure where you're at. I am in the southwest suburbs. But wait a okay. minute, Sam, you said you started to work for Vita just to get to the West Coast. Yeah. I did. I did. I did say that. Uh, so <laughs> What happened? I went to the West Coast. Uh, I got married. I had my son. And, uh, you know, kids need their grandparents. And, oh, so true. Oh, and I needed my mom, to be honest. Oh. Let's, just, let's just be honest about it. So... I said, if I need my mom and kids need their grandparents and the Midwest is really a great place to raise kids. Sure. I agree. And so I approached uh, my boss and my company and I had the the somewhat blessing of COVID on my side in in regards to already proving my work from home ethic. Absolutely. Can I go back? Is that possible? And they said, you know what? We think we have some opportunities for you. And so uh, some of the opportunities was that I got to be really close to Mackenzie and build a much stronger relationship with her, um, not only myself, but our company. Yeah. And then there's some others, uh, you know, some other strong uh, relationships here that I was able to be close to and manage. And it kind of became a win-win for everybody. And I will always be very grateful to Vita for that. I think that some of the most underrated benefits from companies, you can't put a value on. Yeah, and hopefully they still fly you out to California like once or twice a year. They uh, four times a year. <laughs> and see, I get nice. to once a quarter, um, which is really nice. nice because my wife's family is still out that way. So it also gives us an opportunity for. Oh, very nice. To, That's awesome. They'll be very involved with both sides of the family. So what you're saying is. Next quarter, you're taking me with you. <laughs> I, I was trying to feel in that. Yes. <laughs> All three of you are welcome. We have a lab. You guys can just sit down and still do work from there if you need to. Or... You go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not, not a vacation. <laughs> Mackenzie, come with. Bring work. Right. <laughs> but you can get some good marketing shots if I come with. <laughs> you know, that, that, that is an option. <laughs> Yeah, one of the best parts when I was working for Preet was getting to go out to Southern California. Oh, you went everywhere. Yeah, it was fun. It is so pretty out there. It really is. I've never been there. I got to go. Fun to visit. I don't think I'd want to live there, though. No, I don't do well in crowded areas. (laughs) (laughs) So, Sam, we have this opportunity with you from Vita to really kind of help, really, me understand what more Vita has to offer than just teeth. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that's probably the core of Vita's business and just doing some, you know, my high end research that I do by going to the website and clicking around. <laughs> you offer a lot more. So kind of give me the history of what Vita does and how it all came about. 
Yeah, definitely. So, you know, we are celebrating almost 100 years. That's, That's next insane. Year. It is so exciting. We're so excited for everything that we have planned for next year. And so we obviously have built up a lot. Like you said, Elvis, you know, we have worldwide over 600 employees from 20 different nations. Jeez. And we serve both the clinical and the lab side. Where did it start? Germany? It did start in Germany. So it's actually a really interesting story. So we started um, more closer to, to Berlin, I believe, was the city uh, or the suburb area. Mm-hmm. And then World War II happened. And mm-hmm. so, you know, Vita and all, all of Germany really said we need to protect medical manufacturers. And how do we do that? And so they actually relocated everybody, um, not just dental, uh, healthcare, hospitals, all of that. They relocated about seven hours south, closer to the Switzerland-France border. And uh, the story that I was actually told was that every medical professional was packed onto one train because it was a one-shot opportunity. Wow. And by doing so, they protected all of it. And so they were able to keep producing everything in the medical needs to not only help soldiers, but be able to still provide all of the needs post-war too. And then we've been in Radzekian ever since. Um, So we're right there. There's actually a bridge that crosses and you're into Switzerland. But you're still on the Germany side. We are still on the Germany side. Yes. We just got as close to neutral as we could. I was going to say, a good place to go during a war is Switzerland. Yes. (laughs) So it was just really fascinating, just the history of Germany, how so many different professions, you know, traveled downward. And back then, Vita, maybe they still are. They're in the medical field? So we are a dental manufacturer. So we were classified during that time as being a healthcare provider. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Kind of like we were during COVID. Same deal. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Exact yeah. same thing as during COVID. Yep. And so we just kind of, you know really kept growing after that you know the the owner is really prided in protecting you know their employees and their people and in their country too right we are a fourth generation family owned company which is also a really cool thing about vita well just real quick uh, just hearing you guys both talk about the company that comes through i mean you can tell that it's family you can tell they care about their employees and they want to make people feel good so that i love hearing that four generations huh Yes, yes. And absolutely. Family is the core of everything that we do. Well, tell Uh, me their last name was Vita. (laughs) (laughs) It wasn't. The family that owns us is the Router family. Uh, So Dr. Emanuel Router right now um, is our owner. And uh, we actually just lost his father uh, last year. So that is what brought us into that fourth generation period. Wow. So back in when they moved in World War II, what was just teeth? at that time or no it it was not just teeth it was teeth it was porcelain and then um really what most people know vita by is shade oh yeah the shade guide i mean (laughs) yeah standard yeah yes yeah (laughs) yeah that's a no-brainer right definitely so i wonder what's the story of the shade guide do you know how they came up with that and how they came up with the colors and the shades and the A, the B, the C, and the D. You know, there is a whole scientific story behind it that includes, you know, chroma, hue, value, all of that. And it is so deep into science that there is a reason (laughs) that I am in marketing. (laughs) (laughs) Was it the first shade guide out? It was. It was. So we set the... The hell were people doing before? (laughs) <laughs> just eyeballing it, be like eh. eyeballing it. Or you just have to list list foods that the color is similar to. <laughs> it's kind of like an old egg, <laughs> right? That could be as old as porcelain was, I'm sure, or denture teeth or composite. I don't know. Yeah, so we we first developed, you know, our first artificial tooth, and it was an enamel dentin layering. And then from there, we went on to our VMK, um, which I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with today, but it was a metal ceramic that is still around. And then from there, it was that milestone, that true milestone of introducing the Vita Shade standard. And that kind of was the, the core for all of our launches going forward. And every other company basically followed their lead with their shades. 
Yes. So I believe four out of the five shade systems available are rooted in Vita shade standard. Yeah. Still. Yes. Yeah. That's insane that, I don't know, just it became the core and today it's still yeah. relevant, you know? It I didn't even know that. <laughs> It's very relevant, and they even, you know, then expanded on with 3D Master Shades. Yeah, what does that even mean? I remember when I first saw that, I thought I needed glasses to look at it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, it's just um, taking the, the core value of the classical guide, and it's taking it one step further. So you'll see that it's got a couple more tabs on it. So if you, you know, see that it's in, you know, an A range, you can dive even deeper into it to actually get its exact color. So it is super cool that we can just get so detailed in the tooth color. But what's even cooler is that they've matched all of our products to, to 3D Master Shade too. So you can get 3D Master Shade straight out of bottles, straight out of the zirconia, straight out of the CAD CAM blocks. There's, there's no guess game in it, right? Yeah. So not only do you get a more detailed shade, but then you can make products exactly in that shade and not have to do so much recreating. Interesting. And with that 3D master what are all the letters mean do they have a reference <laughs> like an r and an l and an m uh you know that's a good question elvis i have not seen one myself but i am definitely going to check our technical guide and get back to you on that <laughs> i always thought the bleach shade the oms meant oh my <laughs> <laughs> oh my that's bright number one <laughs> well, i think that's exactly what it means yep oh good 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 that's what i figured <laughs> So once Vita has made the industry standard for shade, I mean, where do they go from there? Because you offer a lot more than just porcelain and denture teeth. Absolutely. So from there that we ended up launching the first CAD CAM material to the market, and that was the Vita block line. And then we expanded from there and we added the first hybrid ceramic to the market, which is our Vita Anamic. And we just kept building from there and kept building. And we actually now have uh, added on so many different teeth lines. We now sell zirconia, both our own. And we're actually also the exclusive distributor in North America for Dental Direct, which gives us really the, the, the most comprehensive zirconia line on the market. And then we also are, we, we know where the future's going, right? Uh, yeah, we kind of yeah. talked about that a little earlier. And so we just expanded on our Vita Vionic line, which is all of that digital world. We have prefabricated and milled teeth now. We have uh, this really amazing Vita Bionic Bond, which is kind of what really gets people's attention. And that's because our digital line is so easy that somebody with no dental experience and five years of dental marketing can actually bond the teeth myself uh, oh, I got congratulations great yeah. great, great yeah so they, <laughs> they come out ready to, to stick in and it's so simple you know you print your teeth the base is ready and the bond glues it all together really making your workflow pretty efficient and you didn't bond your fingers together no you i didn't oh not. good job yeah that a true tech would have done that yeah, <laughs> yeah. i would have super glue i would have glued my finger to my ear yeah. <laughs> so you get all that stuff and you're able to go, what do you go to California and you get to check out all the products and use the bonder or how does that work for you as, as a team member? Yeah. So uh, we actually have an in-house lab ourselves and then we have a full technical team that's equipped in our California office. So when we do launch new products in order for me to understand it, I work very closely with them. Uh, so I know what the key features are, what the key benefits are. And then I even do get to do some hands-on stuff sometimes. And we also do in-house trainings with others uh, when we launch new products. So this really cool feature of, of Vita is what we call the Vita Academy. Mm -hmm. And we utilize our in-house lab and we bring people in and they also get to not only see what our warehouse looks like and our office looks like and meet all of the team, but they get to work directly with the, the product Wow! and then be able to take home some stuff too. And is that all in California as well? It is all in California. Yeah. And the lab is beautiful. We just had our first course in there last month since COVID. So it is so exciting to see the lights on in there again. And I actually flew out for the course. It was just so nice to see the world really coming back to normal. 
for our listeners, they can go on the Vita website like Elvis did and, and check out the Vita Academy and click on it and figure out you know, what courses are available. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we have a whole education part of our website that lists courses both in the U.S. and Canada that are actually available. We do courses throughout the states, not just in, in, the, in our office in California. And we also do them, you know, with industry leaders. We know that our technical team is amazing and so educated, but we also know that it's important for people to see how the product's being used in real life. So we put real life, you know, everyday technicians leading the courses too. So the last one that we actually did was with Eugene Rosengert. Um, and I know that everybody, you know, knows and loves him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. So it's, it's really great. We do them for both dental technicians and dentists and just however we can help them. We tailor them. If people ask, if people say, Hey, I really want to know more about, um, you know, Mackenzie uses our Vita Pan Excel. I want to know how Mackenzie makes Vita Pan Excel. So we work and we find enough people in that person's area that also have the same question. And we put on custom places for people. Wow. Mackenzie, tell me what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling a Mackenzie course coming up for whatever reason. Oh, boy. We'll see. <laughs> Mackenzie knows that that door is always open. And when she always. To walk through it, we would love I just that. gotta I got to work up the nerve. You know me. I love to uh, teach people. But like, <laughs> I don't do well in crowds and groups, so we'll see. Hey, you want to get to California? Well, maybe we can just film me doing some stuff without people around. <laughs> That's a great idea too. Get your hands wet. Get your feet wet. And I just yeah. think that's right up your alley. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, you'll get me to do it. <laughs> Sam, so you said clinical. Like, what is yeah. like the popular clinical things that um, Vita is putting out for doctors? Yeah. So, um, all of our CAD CAM blocks are probably the most you know relevant in the clinical world for sure. The next biggest thing that we have is is shade. Um, So we have our classical guides, our 3D master guides, but what's even cooler is to help the labs out, we develop the Easy Shade line, and the Easy Shade is a digital shade taker. So we have two of those on the market right now that people can choose from, and one of them is less than $1,000. It comes out to $7.95 when you utilize the rebate that's available. Mm. Um, So that's been huge for our dentists. It really eliminates any missed shade communication to the lab, which I know on your guys' side is, you know, one of the most important things. And you, you have to have the right shade to be able to make the right product. So explain that to me. Is that in like a camera or is that like a device? It is a device and it just fits in your hand perfectly. There's a little click button at the top. You put it to the teeth. It reads the color and then there's a little LED screen on it. And that shows you exactly what it is. You can also do the average of shades from the top, middle, and bottom of the tooth, too, so that you really get a true, accurate reading through the whole tooth. Wow. I like that. We need to send those to all the doctors. I know. That's what I'm thinking. (laughs) That's crazy. Does it tell you it's OM1? It does. It does. It does classical and 3D shades. Wow. That is pretty but also the, the, the Easy Shade 5 also does, a, there's a bleaching mode so you can track bleaching progress. Wow. Cool. cool. So Mackenzie, what teeth do you use from Vita? What's your favorite? My favorite is the Excel, just because, well, the function for sure, but the, the facial and the look of them, my doctors have all pretty unanimously voted. The Excels are the best. But I also offer the MFTs, which is just the lower tier. Okay. The economy one. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Those are actually probably the top sellers in the lab right now. I do more MFT than anything currently just because I do a lot of surgical dentures, you know, and you don't want to use the highest quality if there could be a remake, reset, what what sure. have you. And I've gotten great feedback from uh, no complaints, which using other lines of teeth, I've had a few issues in the past, whether it be the look in general, the shade tones and things like that. So I've had nothing but success with all of my Vita teeth I'm using. And I also love just the standard Vita pans. Those are kind of my favorite only Mm -hmm. because I've used those for so long. That's what I started out with back when I was 17. And that's what I'll probably always love. (laughs) But I've become so familiarized with these teeth and how to set with them and 
I can do it with my eyes closed at this point. <laughs> I just love them. And like I said, the doctors have no complaints. So, so far, so good <laughs> for the last, you know, a very long time. <laughs> That's fantastic. Do you usually get doctors asking for a mold? Yes. A lot of times, you know, especially with the digital era these days, I will get maybe a printed um, try-in and they say to mimic it, right? So however those teeth were printed, I can find very good matches in Vita. I've had a lot of issues in the past with other companies with the shapes of the mm-hmm. anteriors the most. So all of my success has been from the Vita Excels in that regard when I get special requests. So these doctors are getting a printed try-in obviously probably from another lab yeah but when they go to final they're coming to you because they want that analog they want custom and you know a a lot of people see my instagram and they see the characterizations and the the gingival sure they want custom so certain doctors will say you know this is just a surgical keep it simple keep it light use an mft tooth light festooning things like that and then i'll get another one that says hey you know we printed this try-in um it's really characterized a lot of customization on the the incisals of the teeth, things like that. So then I will go ahead and and go that extra mile and bells and whistles is what I like to call it. You know, I'm going to give you, give you that little extra something. And that's where the Vita Excels come in nine times out of 10. So they're getting a little more of a characterized product, I suppose. I just think it's funny. They start digital and they're like, eh, we, yeah, we wanna... yeah. They want to make sure, you know, that that vertical is correct, that the patient's happy with all of the anatomical aspects. And then when they send it off to me, they just want it mimicked to an extent and then put my flair on it, I suppose. Yeah. Give it the old McKinsey touch. Yeah. <laughs> Does Vita even offer acrylics? Yes, we do offer acrylic. Well, they also offer a really good stain, too, that I've been noticing people using that I got my hands on recently. So I do have to experiment with that. Sam, what is that stain called? We have two stains, actually. So we have a Vita Accent Plus line, and then we have a the Accent yeah. LC. Yeah. Um, so Vita Accent LC is a light curing stain and glaze system, um, and that has yeah. taken off. Because it's it's convenient. It's so convenient and quick. Product even won last year. It was nominated by IDT as game changing product of the year. One of the one of oh, one wow. of the game changing products of the year. So we have had tremendous success with our Accent LC line. What are you staining? Teeth. Teeth. You can do gingival. Yep. Yep. So the the Accent LC can be used on any compositor hybrid uh, ceramic. It can be used on denture teeth, acrylic bases, and then also uh, veneering composites. Very nice. Yeah. It gives it that extra depth, that extra shine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So it um, just really kind of does that final step that, you know, Mackenzie's talking about where you make this beautiful creation and then you bring it to life. The Accent LC is the bringing it to life part. Mm-hmm. And Mackenzie, you need that to bring it to life. <laughs> well, you know, I d- definitely will be using it. <laughs> here and there. Yeah. But it really depends. You know, it depends how in depth they want this denture to be. You got some doctors that really want to go that extra mile. Oh, this patient has, you know, staining on the upper third, add some stain, you know, add some stain to that area. They'll send interoral photos. And then sometimes they don't want anything. So it really just depends. And that product is so good to have on hand because of that. You can use it on teeth and acrylic and whatever else your lab makes. And it's fast, you know, you don't, you're not working with it for hours. Yeah. And it stays on. I mean, light cured and yeah. it's, yeah. <laughs> so far, I have not heard anything about it flaking off or any issues like that. I'm not sure if Sam's heard any feedback, but I have not heard any negative feedback. There has been no negative feedback on our side. It's probably been one of our most successful launches since I've been a part of Vita. Very cool. I love it because some of these digital dentures need that help. They do. They do. A lot of them are very, you know, um, what's it, like mass produced, you know, just a cookie cutter. Monochromatic. So, yeah. Yeah. You just want to get a little more something to them. And I've seen a lot of people on Instagram do that with the digital dentures. They just add a little bit of that stain and it really changes the whole look. Because I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the way these dentures are looking straight out of, you know, the print or the mill or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's really nice to have a product like that. Yeah. So what else is Vita working on, Sam? Anything interesting that you can divulge? (laughs) Yes, we do have some really exciting things coming, but I don't want to give away too much. Let's just say Vita knows that 3D printing is the future and we want to be a part of it. 
<laughs> anything more that anybody wants to see, I will have to say you have to visit us in our ballroom in Chicago's Discovery Room uh, is what we call it in February where we can really just show you everything exciting coming next year to Vita and also join us in celebrating 100 years. It's going to be awesome. So what do you have lined up for the 100 years? I mean, other than Chicago, but anything big? So there is going to be multiple things going on worldwide, and we are still kind of getting the final schedule going. But we do have the obviously huge plans for Chicago, which I can't say just yet. Um, We need to get a few things solidified. But there will be mostly concentrating in our Vita Academy globally. And we know that 100 years is only possible because of the users. And so our next year is all focused on helping the user in all facets. So we said that the best way to do that was um, our slogan is a you know perfect match, which I'm sure you guys have seen. And we want to make that a tangible feature next year. And so we're going to push our Vita Academy kind of to the next, the, to kind of push it to the limits, right? You know, how can we touch as many people as possible next year, but not just in a marketing way, in a way that truly benefits them. And so there's going to be courses that happen in Germany next year, which that information will be available on our website soon that you can actually, on behalf of Vita North America, go to Vita's headquarter in Germany and and take a lab course there and work directly with the creators and the makers and the the minds behind all of these products. Uh, And other countries are all doing the same. So we've launched uh, the Vita Academy as something that you can bring to your own lab now. So you're going to be able to say, hey, I want to also teach other people about these products and be certified as a Vita Academy user. And you'll get, uh, you know, all the, the materials handed to you to make your courses, to advertise your courses. You'll get an entire kind of launch bucket, so to speak. Nice. Is that your idea? Because you said you launched this. Is that was that one of your ideas? Just curious. You know, it was not one of my ideas. I wish it was, but it came from it came from our headquarters. Wow. They said we need to invest back in the people, and and that's really what the root of a hundred years is going to be about for us is investing back into the people. Yeah. For sure. So any lab anywhere can basically open up their laboratory to be like a a training center for the academy for for their own folks or for other technicians outside the lab? Yep, exactly. So you'll get kind of trained up on the Vita product that you want to educate people on, make sure you're using it correctly and, and for all the right indications and get all your questions answered so that then, yeah, you can now turn around and teach the next person. And it's really because you get to the top, you should be turning around and reaching back and bringing people with you. Oh, yeah. And we want to help spread that message. I just want to teach them how to use a shade guide. It's, uh... <laughs> get them I mean, one I... of those easy shades, Elvis. Maybe I'm thinking can... about it. That's a really good idea. You could take it with you to the offices, Elvis. Yeah, I went in to do a custom shade this morning. <laughs> That's just where I had to pop out real quick. I had somebody waiting for me. I just literally did one in five minutes. I was wondering where you went. (laughs) Yeah, that's what happens when you're in the middle of a podcast. The patient shows up 30 minutes early, so I didn't, uh, anyhow. But yeah, I love that idea. Did you use the Vita Classic or the Vita 3D, Barb? It was a Vita OM2, actually, (laughs) with fluorosis and on the outside. So yeah, it's crazy. OM2. Did you say, oh my, that's a number (laughs) two? No, I said, hurry up, I'm on a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you should have brought them in we could have done a live shade match oh on ask the, the patient <laughs> i was doing it in the room that i'm actually doing the podcast so we got to listen to you guys and i was like this is oh, that's a first for me <laughs> just saying no oh. that's hilarious sorry oh no pick up for you guys it's all part of the game of yep. lab living yep I'd like to know from Mackenzie. So like, what is your favorite product that Vita is making, manufacturing? Like what works best in your hands? Obviously a lot of it, but like, what do you like most? The teeth. I mean, I make dentures all day, Barb, (laughs) you know, it's the teeth. The teeth are the only thing I, it's so pathetic that all I do is think about teeth. My God. (laughs) Cut that that out. The personality, (laughs) like what, what is it? What do you mean? Do you like the vitality? Do you like the shapes? Like, what is it that you love? 
I love the the feel of them in my hands, Barb. Okay. <laughs> I, I have it. that on recording. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story for you guys. Mackenzie only thinking about teeth ever. Oh, um, don't tell him the tattoo story. <laughs> I'm told him the tattoo story. So you guys know Mackenzie is an absolute amazing artist. Yeah. And I want to get a tattoo that's the birth flowers for my children. And so I text Mackenzie one time and said, would you be willing to design it for me? Because I can't figure it out. And she came back with this whole design centered around a denture. And I was like, no, Mackenzie. (laughs) And so you're going to get it, right? Look, if someone from a tooth company asks for a tattoo design, I just assume that you want teeth involved. I don't know. (laughs) That's hilarious. He's like, actually, I just wanted his flowers. I didn't want it was a good drawing. <laughs> it was. It was a good drawing. Anybody's looking for flowers and teeth. <laughs> but I really appreciate your love for teeth, though. Like, I, I get it. It's like so I find cool. that, it, you know, I don't want to be seen as someone who, you know, their whole re- life is their career. But, but also, you have to kind of look at the career as a hobby. Because if you don't, you're going to be miserable, right? And if I already love my job, it's going to be my hobby now. It's not going to be this time-consuming career that I just can't wait to get out of. Yeah, you know? it makes it a lot easier, sure. I, I find it so much easier to just enjoy it and to not only do things that I love, but also I have this following on Instagram who also loves, they follow me for a reason. They obviously love teeth too, or maybe the weirdness about it. I don't know. But the second I started focusing my art um, based around teeth, it garnished a lot of attention and a lot of um, following and I've been selling art and do, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's if you stay within that niche, that just also happens to be a hobby. I've been happier, you know? So I'm just going to stick with it and I'll be that weirdo that loves teeth. There's nothing wrong with it. Nope. <laughs> I'm that weirdo too. Yeah. You know, you got, you got to love parts of it. Otherwise I think, like I said, you'd probably go crazy in the lab. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you probably wouldn't be willing to do a custom shade during a, a live podcast recording. No, yeah. not at all. <laughs> I do have a, a personal question. You guys decided to discontinue denture vapes. Is it because you guys are just so busy? Because I'm just heartbroken. Yeah, I mean, we both have so much going on. Janelle is really branched out and she's doing a lot of courses and webinars. You know, she's very into all of that. Yeah. And I've just started the lab. I, as you know crazy anxious person, constantly busy in my own brain. So it, it just made sense to just put a stop to it. Yeah. Um, it just got to be too much. Janelle was carrying most of the the work as she lived. She lives in another state and the headquarters were by her. It just didn't make sense anymore. Yeah. You know, and she's still doing her own thing with her courses and, and art. She still has some really cool denture art and things that she gives away. Um, and I'm still doing my digital art and selling custom prints and things like that. So we're still doing like, you know, our little side gigs. Yeah. It just was too difficult to do anymore as a team. It just wasn't working out. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out though. I loved it. Really. Yeah. It was so much fun. And it was something that when we first met her and I, we were like, every time we post something, people were like, Oh, I'd love that on a shirt or, Oh, I'd love that on a sticker. And we're like, why aren't we just doing this? You know what I mean? So we did it. We achieved that goal and it was so much fun. And I, we're the only people that have done it that I can think of. So, you know, and who knows down the road, maybe something will come back or, uh, you know, no doors are closed for me. It was amazing. You all actually bagged and shipped every order everything and that's what made it even more difficult that's you know insane. That's sure. you... yeah uh, i mean janelle we had to have help from her entire family when we did it her yeah. husband her kids it was a, a family affair and it got to the point where i couldn't get down to indiana as frequently anymore you know because of work or my my family and it, i just it just could wasn't working out and it wasn't fair to her either to be doing all of that so that makes sense and, and you know if we were a bigger if it got so big that we could have hired you know (laughs) gotten a warehouse or something that's a different story but we both really wanted to focus on our actual careers so it just didn't make sense plus it makes it special for all of us that were able to get something why it was exactly now it's a limited edition elvis see now you can see it on ebay in 50 years and it'll be worse I've got four shirts, four shirts and a ton of stickers. I think it's retro now, right? Yep, it's going to be vintage. (laughs) Um, 
I'm down. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So coming up soon, Mackenzie's course at Vita uh, <laughs> in California. Dates well, actually, to be announced soon. I really like the idea of Vita coming here and us doing a little course in my lab. That's awesome. I think we could make that yep. happen. I think we should. This lab is so beautiful. We need to put it on Can camera. Can we make sure that that part <laughs> is recorded, Elvis? Because I just oh. want to make sure that we can see it later. <laughs> I heard her say it. It's out there. Okay, yeah. Sam. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. What's the name yep. of your lab, Mackenzie? My lab is Bella Dental Studio. Bella Dental Located Studios. Located in yep, Gurney, Illinois. Nice. And you mentioned your artwork. How did people get a hold of that? Typically what I do, honestly, Elvis, and it's just because you know me, I'm sporadic and frantic a lot. So if I get a bunch of prints made and then I'll just post on Instagram and say, Hey, look, I got all these prints. Let's start to sell them. It's yeah. never, I don't, I don't have a website open or anything like that, but I do keep my DMS open. And once a week I'll go through them and see if I have any commissions. Um, I do accept commissions. So if people want maybe something drawn up to print out for their lab or their waiting room, I've done a lot of that. Um, I actually just got three pieces framed for my lab. We're going to put them up today. So nice. make, sure, make sure to post that for you guys. So what's the craziest commission you got? We're wrapping up soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't say what I can't say the one that I want to say because oh. it's really crazy. <laughs> wow. But most of them are, are tooth related. The one that actually Sam kind of mentioned when we were talking about her tattoo, I had a gentleman reach out to me and he his dad had passed away and his dad was a, a technician for many, many years mm. and now... Now his son was taking over and he wanted to get a memorial piece, a custom drawing for a tattoo. And I made him a really beautiful memorial piece of a denture with really beautiful floral accents. And he ended up tattooing it on him. That's my number one favorite thing is when people get my art tattooed on them. I have a whole album in my phone of people send me tattoos they've gotten of my art. And I think that's the most flattering, right? Because it's on them forever. And someday a coroner is going to look at it. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. We got to end on that note. Just saying. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> great. That's so fascinating to me. They're going to be buried with my art, Elvis. Yeah, that's neat. Have you ever thought about getting into tattooing yourself? No, no, God, no. I'm way too OCD. You know, I'm so particular and, um, well, you know how long it took me to just to draw those, that piece for you when you did that oh, marathon. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I feel like it takes me a while to get something exact and I could never permanently do that to somebody. Cause I'd be like, can I erase this? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's no undo button. Forever. <laughs> no, no, there's not. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a freestyle artist. <laughs> Well, amazing. Sam, Mackenzie, thank you so much. Thank you. This is yeah. really fun. I'm glad I'm glad I did it and didn't chicken out. <laughs> I am glad too. It was fun doing this with you, Mackenzie. Yeah. <laughs> I told Sam I always try to have Sam's back, you know. <laughs> I'll do it for Sam. Aww. <laughs> yeah, thanks for teaching us a little bit about Vita and thanks for coming on and representing. Uh, appreciate everything that Vita's doing in our industry yeah. and setting the I standards actually learned. for shade. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. No, definitely. Thank you guys both again for having me on this. And Vita is excited to be a part of the industry that it is today. And that means mm -hmm. it means participating in podcasts like this and being active with people online and uh, you know, we live in a very different world than we did 10 years ago. And, yeah. and it's exciting to see Vita coming into the fold with all of it. Yep. True. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, absolutely. This was fun. Mackenzie, good luck on the new lab. Thank you so much. Fingers crossed. We just keep getting better and better, busier and busier. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk right. to you soon. All right. Bye. Yeah. Bye. A big, huge thanks to Sam and Mackenzie for coming on our podcast to talk about all things Vita. It is super great when companies turn 100. I mean, that's a long, long, long time. Says something special for the products and the people working there. A lot of teeth and products were discussed during our episode, so make sure to head over to VitaNorthAmerica.com or Vita, wherever you are in the world, Dot com <laughs> to see the products Sam and Mackenzie talked about.
And also make sure to check out the Vita Academy as they continue to provide great education to our industry. Guys, come on, let's all send them an email telling them we want to all take a course taught by the great Tooth Fairy Kansi McKenzie. And remember the ad we played earlier? If you want to try a free full case of Vita MFT teeth, just head over to VitaNorthAmerica.com forward slash free MFT. Thank you, Sam and McKenzie. Great conversation, you guys. That's fantastic. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good one. Have a great one. Whoa. Someone's happy to have the day off. <laughs> Look at how pretty she is. She's such a good girl.